today let's take up the Seagate Backup Plus Hub. This is the 8 terabyte version and it is currently, at least for my market, the cheapest way to get external hard drive storage and, in fact, uh, internal hard drive storage because the hard drive used in here is just a regular Seagate desktop hard drive that we can use for anything else. Keep in mind that this is a SMR, a shingled magnetic recording, shingled, yeah. Shingles drive, so the random write performance is going to be very low, but if you're using it for backup, as I will be, you know, drive performance is really good. So sequential writes, sequential reads, and random reads are fine. It's just random writes. So if you have a lot of data that you're storing on it, um, that is just big chunks of data, this is going to be absolutely fine. So to take it apart, this is a three-part case. You've got the glossy front, the matte main body, and the glossy back. And basically, we just need to take off the matte or the, the glossy back side here and I've already taken one apart so you can see I was not very gentle these are the sort of tabs that we're gonna have to break to get into the drive so I'm just gonna start by jamming in a screwdriver right around here you can see you can hear that's the first tab broken and I'm just gonna move my way down yeah be careful with this obviously um, this drive is not intended to be disassembled but well, we can still do it. So this is just a bit of a pain to work your way around. Um, if you're careful and if you've got the perfect right technique, you might be able to keep most of the tabs intact so you can use it as an external drive case and actually you know, put your own drives in it, for example, um, or put it back together at some point. But in my case, I really don't need another external drive case. So I'm just gonna destroy it in the process. So basically just work your way around the drive. There you go, there are tabs all around it. And again, obviously be careful with this. And if you're prying, try to pry away from yourself. Not like I'm doing. There you go. So once you've got enough leverage to get your finger under it, try to keep it pry it open so that it doesn't snap back closed. And there you go. Now we should be able to peel this open. And this entire bit actually just slides out. There's some anti-vibration dampers on the side of the drive. These just come off. Then this bit of aluminum tape here and there also comes off. On the side, you've got four Phillips screws that actually slotted into those anti-vibration uh, rubber dampers. So just take those out. That's where you're going to be mounting your drive, typically. Yep. And you just lift up and pull it out of the connector back here. And there we go. There's the drive. Seagate Barracuda Compute. This is an ST8000DM. Actually, let me zoom you in. This is an ST8000DM004. Um, there's a serial number. I don't know what you're going to do with that. But yeah, there is the drive. That's what you get. Um, again, this is the same drive that you could buy as a Barracuda Compute. It is an SMR drive, but it's 8 terabytes, and it is cheaper than buying this drive by itself. So yeah, hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something. I mean, it's not a very hard process if you want to pick up the drive or the, well, actually, if you want to pick up the external drive, the Backup Plus Hub Seagate unit, uh, there's Amazon links in the description below.